Hello friends, Mandar here. I'm back with another video. Today we'll talk about few topics regarding the options if you lose your job on H-1B and what you should do immediately if you don't get a H-1B transfer. We'll also talk about the automatic extensions of EAD that is available to everybody. We'll talk about important points that you might want to consider when you are applying for EB-1A petition and a special announcement. So watch this video until the end and let's get started. If you are here for the first time, welcome. My name is Vandar and I make immigration and lifestyle related videos for US and Canada. I am not an immigration lawyer so anything that I say on this video or on my channel is for information purpose only. And for your specific immigration needs before you take any action, you should hire a competent immigration lawyer. Now first of all I wanted to mention that I thank you for your support. As of the recording of this video, I am very close to reaching 100,000 subscribers. Now this is a long time coming, it's about 360 or 370 videos I made in the last 4 years, less than 4 years to reach this milestone. So if you haven't subscribed, I have a sincere request for you to subscribe to my channel. Even as of now, only 30% of my viewers are my subscribers. So if you can take a moment to like this video put a meaningful comment and subscribe to my channel that will be wonderful and that will also get you into the giveaway that i'm going to announce right after i reach 100000 subscribers so wish me luck and thank you for your support now let's talk about the first topic of today which is the data that uscis had published a couple of weeks back regarding the pending inventory of i485 so i made a special video on that and that video and that video got a lot of attention including my eb1a videos now the reason it got a lot of attention is because those numbers that USCI has published for the pending inventory were not so great. Everybody who is in the who is in adjustment of status can look up at that table and see how many people are ahead of you in line to get their green card and that will give you a some kind of an indication how long it will take for you to get your green card. Now it, the data is stark and it's, it paints a painful picture of the weight or the green card backlog that is in the EB category, especially for people from India and China. Now there have been some speculations or comments that I received, will USCIS make all the dates current to give everybody a chance to enter into the 485 stage and get their EADs and APs. Now this topic comes up every year around the time or towards the end of the fiscal year. And it's a genuine point because USCIS has done this before. In 2008 and even once before that, they had made all the dates current that allowed everybody who had an approved I-140 to apply for 485 and avail the benefits of EAD and EP. Even last year, there was a great speculation on this to happen right in October. And if you ask me if it will happen this year, my answer is unfortunately no. Especially being the election year, there is not going to be any significant immigration related changes or policy changes that USCIS will make or administration will make at this time of the year. So unfortunately, that is not going to happen if you ask me. Now the second topic of today is there are a lot of layoffs going on in the Silicon Valley and everywhere in the United States. While there are a lot of jobs available, it's still difficult if you get laid off and if you have only 60 days to find another job. Especially for the people on H-1B visa, if your company gives you 60 days of notice period, that kind of helps you get a different job with H-1B where you can transfer your H-1B and still legally stay in the United States. But in cases where there is no notice period, you are really in a difficult situation where you have to find another job in 60 days and also initiate the H-1B transfer. If you don't, you start accumulating unlawful presence in the United States. And if you cross six months of unlawful presence, there is a permanent ban or ban up to 10 years for you to get any kind of visa for the US. So it's very difficult situation. In this situation, what you should do is, you should definitely try all fronts to get your new job who can help you sponsor your H-1B, especially transfer your H-1B. Now, if that does not happen, you should try for compelling circumstance EAD if you have an approved I-140. That is also an option for you. But this option is really for few people who really can present their case as a compelling circumstance of, of losing their job, losing their livelihood, or losing support or decreasing support to the US citizen. So that is a very specific scenario and even if you get that compelling circumstance EAD, it is only for a year. 
And that brings me to the sponsor of today's video. Have you ever done the Google search of your own name? Look what I have found when I did mine. Here's what comes up. While some of this information is relevant, the other makes me uncomfortable that my information is exposed for a sale like this. Data brokers sell your information to scammers, spammers or anybody else who may want to target you. Your full name, email address, home address, your relatives names, health information, it's all out there. That's why I have been using Aura, sponsor of today's video. Aura shows me which data brokers are selling my information and automatically submits opt-out request for me. Cleaning up my information not only helps reduce the amount of spam I get, but it also protects me from hackers who could use this information to help them access my social media accounts, bank accounts or other sensitive information. Aura does so much more to protect my information and my family's information from online threats I can't see. I get other features like antivirus, VPN, password management, parental controls, identity theft insurance and more without having to download several different apps. It's really easy to set up and best of all I get everything for one affordable price. You may already have one or two of these tools but not having Aura is like locking the front door but leaving your back door wide open. Aura is always on doing the hard work of keeping me safe so I can focus on other tasks with peace of mind. I value my privacy and I value yours. You can go to my link which is on the screen and in the description and start your free two weeks trial. So protect your information, your family and have a peace of mind. That's Aura. It will only give you a period of authorized stay to stay in the US for one more year and there is no extension or automatic extension for that kind of EAD. Now coming back to the point, if you are not able to do the H-1B transfer or get that compelling circumstance EAD, then your options are limited. You might have to go on some other visa like B1, B2 or leave United States. Now there is an option for visitor visa or B1, B2 visa which will allow you to stay in the United States and allow you to continue to find your next job. Now this will be a bridging visa because you will need to immediately apply for your B1, B2 and then get that extension. Now this B1, B2 visa will give you up to six months of authorized stay and, be, and allow you to search for your next job. And once you get a job, you can reinstate your H1B visa and go back on H1B. So that is kind of a bridging thing that you can do. Now there are a lot of other options that I've covered in my specific video regarding this topic. So search for that topic on my channel. Okay, let's move on to our next topic, which is the automatic extension of EAD. Now there was a time, now there was a time just a couple of months back where the EAD automatic extension was only 180 days. Now this has been extended to 540 days, which is one and a half year, which is a long time. So even if you apply for your extension of EAD and it does not come in time before your previous one expires, you have an automatic extension of 540 days. Now the only condition is you should have applied for your extension at least six months or in six months before your EAD card expires so that you can get this automatic extension. This is a big relief for anybody who is working on EAD. They are not at risk of losing their job because you will definitely get your EAD within the automatic extension period of 540 days. So that is another clarification that I wanted to make. Another thing is if your kids are aging out, do reach out to me. I have some specific scenarios that I have covered with a lot of people. And those scen uh, scenarios will definitely help you. If you want to talk to me on Calendly, do set up a 30 minutes call with me on Calendly or chat with me using Patreon. Both of those options are available to you. Email is not the best way to reach me because I get inundated with emails and it may not be the right and I may not be able to reply back to you. So check out Calendly or Patreon. And then the last topic I wanted to mention is EB1A. Because of this long wait period for the ba backlog countries such as India and China, EB1A could be your option or your ticket to getting your green card a little sooner. Now I'm doing this masterclass since last couple of months and I'm getting overwhelming response to this masterclass. They have helped people understand the criteria. They have helped people understand what are the evidences that they need to gather in order to prepare their case for EB1A. Some people have dropped $20,000 to some consultants who can up who apply for their EB1A petitions not knowing the criteria and not knowing the evidence requirements. Their case status is in limbo because they are not confident whether their I-140 will be approved. Instead, I highly recommend doing your own research, doing your own preparation 
before considering or dropping twenty thousand dollars with anybody else do your preparation because you are the best judge and master of your own career and profile and your eligibility and to meet the eligibility requ requirements for eb1a so preparation is utmost important take some time because you you have a lot of time because your eb2 is not going to be approved anytime soon so you can take six months one year to build your eb1 case or eb1a case and then apply for it if you want to check out my master class the link is in the description do sign up for that and once again i want to remind you that i am so close to getting to 100000 subscribers so your little bit of a nudge and subscribing to my channel will push me over the edge and highly motivate me to continue to make these videos for you so do hit that like button do subscribe to my channel and do post a meaningful comment and i will put you into the giveaway that i will be announcing right after crossing the 100000 mark so if you like the content of this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.